Hello guys, this is Jacko from Muddy Tiger Outdoors. And I was wondering, did you guys miss me? I bet not. Uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed. Some of you may have noticed if you follow the channel. I haven't been posting videos uh, as often as I usually do. Um, and I haven't been to a little hiking trip like this uh, in a good while. Um, maybe, maybe a couple of months, maybe even three months. Guys, it is without a doubt a beautiful morning today. Um, every now and then I just kind of have to stop and listen to the to the sounds, just, you know, listen to some of the birds. There's a little creek right here just making that, you know, typical or stereotypical creek relaxing noise. So, you know, sometimes I get caught up in just hiking fast and hiking, trying to conquer miles or as my wife says it, conquer nature. Um, and sometimes it's, you know, I enjoy doing that. Most of the time I do. But sometimes it's also just nice to stop and, and just, uh, you know, listen a little bit. I think that's a cardinal. Just take a deep breath. Just uh, look at the colors, look at the things moving here and there. If you're quiet enough, if you just kind of sit here for a little while, you see different things that you may not see if you're walking a little bit faster. So definitely appreciate that. This place had some rain here in the last couple of days, I think. And uh, ground is a little bit slippery, not as much, just kind of in the lower areas. Um, just gotta be careful not to twist an ankle or slip and get yourself all caked with mud, which wouldn't be too big of a deal. But yeah, you know, twisting an ankle, that's something I definitely don't want to do. Um, we also have, even though I haven't been um, making videos as often uh, or publishing videos as, as often um, I'm still enjoying some new gear a um, few little pieces here and there I think one of the biggest uh, things that I've uh, purchased here lately is the pack that I'm carrying today uh, very very nice pack um, this is the Carrymore uh, SF Sabre 30 which is um, kind of a little baby brother of my Carrymore um, Sabre 45, 45 liter with the uh, rocket pouches and you make it a little bigger. Uh, this is just kind of a day pack type uh, 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 backpack, I guess. And um, you know, there's a lot of the things on this one that I like off the uh, bigger one, obviously being the same line of backpack, the Carrymore SF. Um, you know, same comfortable straps, same kind of adjustments, same type of material, which to me has been very, very durable. Um, what else? Oh yeah, it's it's uh, basically a hydration bladder compatible. That's why it's called the Hydra 30. Um, I might have said Saver 30 earlier. I'm sorry if I did. Um, anyway, it's the Hydra 30. Let's get it right. 
um, so Hydra because it's hydration compatible and um, it's a 30 liter so you can stuff it as much as you like or you can put as little or small amount of gear as you like and it still does the trick um, I've been using it primarily for believe it or not riding my mountain bike um, just getting out there with a hydration bladder I put my wallet back there and a few other necessities of course keeping it light uh, for my uh, mountain biking um, so today it's kind of the maiden voyage for you know its true purpose which is I guess hiking with a hydration bladder and it's doing great I mean it's it's a 30 liter yes but I still have um, a um, one tigress tarp the 10 by 10 so definitely fits there along with other things like a, a cook kit um, so I got a saw there I got my knife uh, just a few you know I guess kind of basic necessities for if you're gonna get out to the woods or out in the woods and uh, hike a little bit just to make sure that you're covered as far as gear realistically I'm not gonna need much of that stuff there other than my cook kit but being a gear holic um, that I am I have to have my gear with me so Isn't that such a pretty picture I don't know it's just to me it's just very peaceful to see that kind of a background you know the water barely moving and you can kind of see some of the insects just kind of floating on the surface of the water hopping around and here a little woodpecker back that way I don't know if the camera's microphone is gonna pick it up And I think some, you know, a scene like this is kind of the essence of what nature is all about or what, what it should be about. You know, we all kind of enjoy nature in our own different way. Um, but this is kind of the, the bare basics, the bare essentials of what nature enjoyment should be. Just looking at it the way it is in its natural state. I may not have, you know, mountains as a background or you know elevation changes huge bodies of water but that's as good as it gets I don't know I think this place is gonna be just as good as any for a quick cup of tea might as well it's starting to get a little bit warmer <clears throat> so I don't think I'm in frame. Sorry guys. Yeah, so it's starting to get a little bit warmer. Um, so might as well uh, just go ahead and have a cup of tea. It's about 60 degrees Fahrenheit out here. Um, but of course when you're walking it just kind of warms up a little bit more. This is a little platform, perfect little platform for um, my stove. So let's go ahead and bring it out and we'll make us a quick cup of tea.
to remember what I have here for tea. Oh, I guess it's going to be some chaga. Well, we've got some chai tea, a little baggy, but I think we're going to go for the chaga. Why not? It's been a while, actually, since I had a cup of uh, chaga tea, so definitely time for some. He may be ready to drink. Yep. Cheers, guys. Mm. Mm. And here's breakfast, a couple of uh, good old granola bars. All right guys, so we're back on the trail and it feels really good, but I do have to confess, for a while I didn't want to get up from that little spot. It was just perfect, peaceful, comfortable. Um, you know, that tree where I was sitting, <laughs> the angle of the backrest, it was just perfect. So I just didn't want to get up. But now that I am out again in the, on the trail, Definitely feels pretty good. The sun was trying to get a little uh, strong. The temperature's rising, obviously, as it gets later in the day. So I had to take the jacket off and uh, feels good to be back in, in and out of the shade. Um, just a little bit more enjoyable for sure. And it doesn't last long like this in Texas, obviously. It gets pretty hot. So, um, you know, getting temperatures of um about you know it's got to be closing or approaching the 70s i think the highs is going to be 73 today um so it feels it feels pretty good but look at this how cool is that that's a natural honeycomb from bees <clears throat> pretty cool that's a good size too i guess it must have fallen from this tree obviously it's ruined the back is wet and soggy and it looks like it hasn't been used in a while but that's a cool find it's a pretty cool structure we'll just put it back where we found it So again, coming back to that topic of not producing or uploading videos um, on a regular basis here in the last couple of months, um, I've lost a few subscribers, so I apologize if the channel became boring or I guess unexistent for a little while. But if you stayed with the channel, if you're still subscribed and you're still watching some of the videos, I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, definitely, that's one of the reasons or one of the motivators that keeps me uh, wanting to do this and you know, to tell you the truth, whoops, I tripped. Uh, to tell you the truth, I don't have any plans on not continuing with the channel. Uh, we're definitely going to keep uh, recording videos. All right, guys, so I've decided to take a little break here under the shade before I head over to the car. Um, I've pretty much uh, reached the end of the trail here on this little loop. So uh, I appreciate you guys coming along. Thank you for 
watching the video. Thank you for liking. Don't forget to subscribe. Please check us out on Facebook, Muddy Tiger Outdoors. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.